Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I am Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is 50 mistakes that restaurant owners make. I've made a lot of mistakes and I've learned from a lot of mistakes. And chances are, or not chances are, I know a lot of you other restaurant owners are making these same mistakes and they're so simple to fix. So here's another common mistake. And you have to understand this, please. Okay, so your staff needs to taste the food, needs to taste product, okay, needs to taste whether it's a beer or whether it's wine, the most successful restaurants or the most successful waitresses and waiters, wait staff, know what they're selling. So as a restaurant owner, you have to budget. If there's a, you get a brand new case of beer in and there's 24 beers in that case and let's say you price it out. Let's just say, for example, this is not really reality, especially in craft, the craft beer world. Let's say that case costs you $24 and a dollar a beer. You need to now say, well, I'm going to take one or maybe two beers, maybe one beer, and actually put that towards staff training. So now you have to say the beer, 24 beers or 23 beers now cost me $24. So the beer is no longer a dollar a beer. It's a dollar and eight cents or whatever it is, a dollar and four cents, dollar and four cents. Okay. And that's a, that's a, a low example. Some of the beers that I get are one-time cases where they only made a certain amount and 12 beers might cost me $50, $60. So, but my staff's not going to be able to hand sell or recommend these beers unless they taste them. So I have to round everybody up on a regular staff meeting day and say, here's a new beer. So when I go to budget my price, I now say 11 beers cost me $50. Same thing with if you have, you know, um, scallops that just came in, you got 10 pounds of scallops and you're going to serve a half a pound to staff to have them taste. You now have to figure out, well, that is now waste or it's, it's not usable product anymore. Just like how you trim a ribeye and you have all the fat that's left over that's garbage. This is trimming your products so this is your yield. It's normal. So restaurant owners have to actually account for that and put that in their equation so they can justify making their food cost, their their uh, beverage cost, and justifying where it actually goes. So uh, if you're not doing that, you definitely should be. It costs money, and especially if you're traveling to a wine tasting, um, if you're traveling for somewhere, as a restaurant owner, you should account for some of that. Because chances are the restaurant next door to you, they might not be traveling as much as you or care as much as you, and, and this and that. So me personally, I travel to New York City a lot of times for wine tastings, a lot of times. So if I buy a case of wine that's, let's, let's just say it's 88 bucks, I might want to say, well, no, that wine really is $100. I went to New York City. I went there all day. It cost me $100 to go back and forth. I bought five cases of wine or six cases of wine that day or seven cases. So I'm going to want to figure out what my expenses are and what those are and work them in. Now, if I'm going to rebuy the cases, then I can, you know, lower the price a second time in. Or if I figure, well, I'm just going to pour through a ton of these with this wine, then, you know, you can adjust. You don't have to pay for it in every single case. But your time is valuable. Don't be afraid to actually make up for it. Now, the idea for me traveling into New York City an hour and a half to do a wine tasting and go all day is that I'm going to get wine that the restaurant across the street is not going to have. So a customer can't go in across the street and say, I want that same wine, but why is... Mark is charging $2 more a bottle for it or a dollar more a bottle. The idea is to seek things out that are interesting and exciting and rare that people can't get anywhere else. And then you have to tell your story. So, but don't be afraid to charge for, uh, for sampling the staff. Um, you know, don't be able to, not charge, but put it into your equation. If you have any questions, please email me at help at 50mistakes.com. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching.